In 2014, BlackBerry launched this, the BlackBerry Passport. As the name implies, it's the same size as a passport you use for traveling with. It's quite unique. It went away from the traditional BlackBerry design ethos with a large 4.5 inch touchscreen display, a three row QWERTY keyboard with some interactive controls, a big battery, a good camera, and it was very unique and still is unique and appeals only to a select f few, primarily those who like to get a lot of work done on the go and are quite happy using a device primarily two-handed. Now in 2015, they've launched this, the Passport Silver Edition, which is a small upgrade over and above the original Passport. Now, there aren't a great deal of differences. The main difference that you can see here is the silver frame. This is because it's constructed with stainless steel. It has a stainless steel frame to it to make it very strong. Now, in this video, we're going to look a little bit at the Passport Silver Edition features and how it compares to the original Passport from 2014. So you can see that both have the large 4.5 inch touchscreen, both retain this keyboard. So with the frame here, you can see that it not only looks a little bit different, but it's actually fractionally different in terms of the physical size. There's really very little uh, you can tell without putting the two side by side, but the edges are just slightly different here for a slightly different feel um, in hand, a little bit more beveled, especially when it comes to the corners. The original Passport uh, is a little bit sharper where you've got a bit more curvature on the Silver Edition. We can see that on the front, we've now got these drilled speaker holes and the position of the sensors have changed a little bit. If we flip over to the back, you can also see quite a few cosmetic changes. On the 2014 uh, edition here, we've got a smooth back panel. This is black, it also came in white and red. But on the silver edition, we have this diamond patterned back cover, which makes it a little bit more grippy on the fingertips. So it's not so smooth, and that helps when you're handling such a large de device. You'll also see that with the camera, the positions have changed slightly in, in the layout um, and we now have this stainless steel ring around the camera so when you place the device on a tabletop that ring helps protect the camera lens um, that we have there on the device. So feature wise it's almost identical. Both are running BlackBerry OS 10 but the Silver Edition runs 10.3.2. Now that is available on the Passport, but you get that out of the box with the Silver Edition. And what that basically means is that you've got some further enhancements in the software and the way that the BlackBerry uh, device actually runs. So things from uh, improvements in the camera and how it performs to BlackBerry Voice Assistant, BlackBerry Blend, and much more. Now, this is a device built for working, and those who do a lot of email on the go will particularly like the Passport. Another small change that comes from the original Passport to the Silver Edition is a slight change in the way that the keys feel. Now, you have to really handle the two side by side to notice the difference, but if it makes any sense, the keyboard on the Silver Edition feels a little less hollow. When you press the keys on the original one here, it feels a little bit more hollow. Now, okay, this is a, a dummy model, but it's a precise replica. Whereas when you tap the keys on here, it feels a little bit more uh, thorough and more complete, which uh, is, is a good thing and it improves the experience that you get. Both are identically priced when you buy them SIM free from Clove. And to take a bit more of a look at the Silver Edition, let's take a look at some of the software features. I'm not going to run through them all because you will have seen many of these um, before. But one of the big things that we have here is BlackBerry Hub and it's completely underrated in terms of what it offers. Within BlackBerry Hub you can have all of your different email accounts, your BBM, your text messages. It's kind of like a one-stop shop for all of your uh, communications. You can easily add accounts, uh, you can easily organize things in terms of what you actually view. So if you see down the side here we've got the Hub, 
you've got Priority Hub, you can see your different notifications. So I've got my work email. I've only got one email set up on here at the moment, but you can have lots of different uh, accounts and you can easily view them individually or all together. The way in which you uh, manage uh, the emails is really nice. Press and hold and you get all of these different options come down the side. Now, of course, it takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to Android or iOS, but it is so, so powerful in terms of what it can actually do. Now, being a BlackBerry device, it is obviously running the BlackBerry OS. So you have BlackBerry's own app store in the form of BlackBerry World, but you also have included Amazon's app store, which allows you to download a lot of free applications, which are all based off of Android. So essentially this device can run Android applications and you can even sideload them if you choose. Not all of them are guaranteed to work, but the ones in the Amazon App Store will. And you'll find that you'll get most of the popular ones uh, that you would normally see in Google Play Store and things like that. Only some specialist ones are missing. And for me, the vast majority are now within uh, the App Store, although I am missing the odd few to be able to personally move to BlackBerry OS 10 completely. But you can sideload them, and that gets around the problem for some. Another great feature, uh, primarily for those who are a little bit forgetful maybe, is BlackBerry Blend. Now what BlackBerry Blend actually does is allow you to use your device even though you may not have it in the hand. So you can actually have this device at work and providing it's been paired up previously with another device, so let's say your Android tablet that you've got at home. If you've left your BlackBerry Silver Edition at work and it's connected to the internet, you can, through the BlackBerry Blend application, access the content that is on the Silver Edition and work on that content from the comfort of your home on your Android tablet. It works with PCs, it works with Mac, it works with iOS as well. So it's a great remote management tool, if you like, for getting through to key functions and features of your Silver Edition, even though you may not have it in hand. Where that also works well is perhaps if you're traveling a lot and you want to use a proper full-sized keyboard and monitor, you can connect to your Silver Edition and manage a lot of the content nice and easily. So another feature that was present on the original BlackBerry Passport and is still present today on the Silver Edition is the ability to use the keyboard as a trackpad. So I'm here on the Clove mobile site and I can scroll up and down the page using my finger over the keyboard. So if I go to the desktop site, which is clearly not going to perform quite as well on such a small screen, what I can actually do is scroll up and down, left and right, just using nothing more than the keyboard. There's like an optical trackpad built into this, and this is really good when it comes to viewing content, especially uh, any text that you might be reading. It makes it nice and easy to scroll through. And this uh, even has a reading mode built into uh, the device to make it nice and easy. It strips out some of the content that you might not want uh, to see when you're in reading mode, such as pictures. And it means that this 4.5 inch screen that has 453 pixels per inch can get a lot more actually on it. So that makes for a really productive uh, operation and you can use it in portrait or sort of landscape mode if you like and you can still scroll through here. You've got the usual sort of double taps to zoom in, you can pinch and zoom. Many of the things you do on your Android or iOS device, you can do it uh, here on the Passport Silver Edition. One of the limiting factors a little bit is the screen size and the way it orientates with media. So if we were to view uh, this little video it's playing back, although it's not ideal because it's got a black background, it doesn't quite fill the whole display. Can you sort of see how it's sat in the middle of the screen there, which isn't perfect. Um, but if you're a big media-centric person, the Passport Silver Edition might not be uh, for you. There are a lot of uh, gesture-based interactions with the Passport, so flicking up and across on the screen, a few that you might be uh, not so familiar with. If we look at the back here, we can see that under the back panel, it's not removable at all, but there is a 3,450 milliamp hour battery that give us up to 30 hours of usage time. 
we've got a removable panel up here which actually allows us to access the micro uh, SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot so you can expand the internal memory uh, within this device. So there's lots of features to the BlackBerry Passport series and particularly the Silver Edition. That's a video that compares some of the key differences between the new Silver Edition and the original Passport. And for more information, head over to clove.co.uk. Thanks for watching.